Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, a little bit quicker than I thought. Um, <laughs> anyway, we got Gao back on our team. Gao! Alright, everybody's in the back row. My voice cracked for some reason. Alright, anyway. Now, Gao can actually not equip any weapons, and his equipment selection is somewhat limited, actually. Um, and there are ways around that, but um, he doesn't really need uh, much equipment, actually. But anyway, he comes with the Rage ability, and it's a little obtuse if you're new to the game. Uh, basically, what he can do is he can learn enemy abilities, and the way to teach him new ones is to fight enemies, and then learn them here on the belt, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to learn a few different ones. Um, I looked at a list and what they were, but, alright, so basically all you gotta do is, I'm not gonna actually do it on this one, let's try out some of them though, uh, we'll do the Rhinotar, and its ability is Megavolt, which is okay. They, also, they all have a basic attack and an ability, and some of them actually come with innate weaknesses and strengths, basically what that means is... If you rage an enemy, you might be weak to fire, but you could also be strong to fire. Vice versa. You can also gain various buffs and debuffs through that system as well. The reason why I don't want to learn do leap right here to learn these ones is these ones aren't very good, and it'd, it'd just be a waste. Because he'll be out of commission for a couple battles until you re uh, recapture them. You don't have to use any more dried meat, but... Um, and that way, if I do run into one I'd want to learn from, well, I don't want him to be gone. So, alright, let's rage. Uh, let's see. Trial Biter. Let's try that out. The ones he initially starts out with, nothing too great. See, that came with Protect, I think that is, or Safe in this game. Let's see if we can use his special ability. I think it's a, yeah, poison attack. And poisons him. Nothing that great. What I'd like to run into are those stray cats. And um, a couple of the enemies from the Phantom Train. You can learn some level 2 fire and ice spells from them, which is pretty awesome. And you don't gain any experience here, too, which is kind of neat. Guard, this is, well, very beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, whisper, why not? Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Sand Rain Aranids, uh, nothing here either. Yeah, it's kind of annoying trying to do this. But it is what it is. Oh, I forgot to give relics to Gao as well. So, yeah, if you're playing a, like, low-experience game, low-level game for here, uh, for Final Fantasy VI, this is where you get a lot of your money. Yeah, see, that one came with float status. I think that'll actually carry over, too. Yeah, that one does. Some of them, uh, the buffs that you get don't actually carry over but some of them do. Why float does and... Oh, I know why, because float you can have outside of battle, so... Uh, let's see... We'll do... M-Tech... I, I think it's the M-Tech... Yeah, Tech Laser. Yeah, so it's not very, that great, but... Hopefully I'll run into some better enemies here shortly. Now 
Gao, I think, can mainly stay in the back row, too, which is good. A lot of... A lot of people in this game can just stay in the back row, either because their abilities don't matter, so they might as well just keep them in the back. I think one of these has... Uh, let's see. No. I don't, uh, never mind. I thought one of those had something decent, but I don't think they do. Whee! And the formations that you can run into here are only dependent on the ones that you ran into while playing the game. So, um, like this battle here, we ran into it because of how we got into the fight in the very beginning of the game like this. And so if you, if you know all the formations you can run into for an enemy you want, you can well, increase your odds, make sure you get them all. Ah, finally, here we go. I would definitely want Stray Cat. And the cool thing about that is if there are multiple enemies on the screen, like say there's a Stray Cat and Monster X, whatever. When you leap, you actually learn all of the rages. And I wanted, I think I wanted that Telstar. Oh, do I have to the ribbon on? I don't think I have the ribbon on. Uh-oh. Oh well. Yeah, saving kind of sucks now. I kind of like a uh, gal. You know, he's pretty different. You don't really uh. It's such a different kind of, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, different kind of thing that they really added, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, if you don't kill the Telstar quick enough, he will start bringing in soldiers. And Cyan gains his sword text through his levels as well. There we go. Guess I should actually heal. And we get a green beret for that, which is nice. That's actually, I know that's pretty popular in um, certain, um, oh, challenge runs is fighting that Telstar over and over again to get uh, extra green berets, because you can't get them for a little bit, I think, and since they increase your life, they're really popular. As you see, a gal's been gone a long time. Bomb. I think those have self-destruct. Ow! And there we go. We just sit here and... Gal will come join us. Yes, let us travel together, gal. And he's back, and I gotta reset his position. It's so, alright. I think, yeah, we always probably learned with yeah, Stray Cat. Oh! Okay. He does, uh. He also learned the one where he came back on, which was Bomb. Alright, that's kinda cool. Alright, so let's do a few more. I'm actually going to bring up a guide for this. Put it off to the... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Put it off to the side here. For now. 
Alright, Garage Guide. That way I can just remember some of the ones that are kind of worthwhile. Do, 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 scrolling down. Yeah, that... Alright, yeah, that Telstar has Sonic Boom, which is a pretty decent one. Whisper and Hazer. I th think, yeah, the Hazer I want. Because they come with... Bolt 2. That's right, I remember that one. Alright. Now another... Alright, cool, we got him back already. Sometimes you get him back really fast. Oops. So, let's see, a hazer. That is bolt two. Not too bad. Poor Sabin's taking a beating. Commander. I don't think that's anything worthwhile now. Alright. Let's use Hazer. See if I'll use it. Of course not. Not bad damage, though. Way to go, gal. Vector pup? Ah, that's nothing. Let's do the... see if we can't get the bolt 2 off. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Not as powerful as Sabin is, but, well, hey. Let's actually give him some stuff. Earrings are good. And... We'll give you the running shoes for now. want to give him the earrings, mainly because a lot of his abilities that are good are based off magic damage. Gold Bear and Primadite. Uh, nah. Let's see. Uh, let's do Stray Cat. Show this off. Or not. Let's see if I can't use it on this one. Never mind. Stray Cat uses, uses an ability called Cat Scratch, which is like six times your damage or something like that. Templar and Soldier. Actually, the Templar gives you Fire too. I forgot about that. Uh, the only thing that's boring is you gotta grind for different uh, different rages. That's the only thing that's bad about it. Use pummel. Why not?
Hmm, apparently, according to this, that blaze actually from the bomb is stronger than fire, too. Huh. There we go, got him back. Alright, let's see, so that's Fire 2, I know Blaze, Cast Scratch, Bolt 2. Anything else that looks like I want to learn. You know what, that's good enough. So let's head south. You can't really see it too well on the map, I think. Ooh. Well, no. The therapists teach you haste too, but... But that's not really that big of a deal, because that's all you could do then. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that was pretty darn good. Does he keep his relics? Yeah, he does. Okay. Paradon. I thought that they had something. They have Fireball, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see if Stray Cat will work. Give him one more try. I'd like to see Cat Scratch damage. I think it's four times normal damage. Or you could not use it. Alright, what a jerk. Man. There we go. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty good single target damage, and is n I think it's just considered non-elemental, actually. So against battles where maybe you don't want to use any magic for a certain reason, like Celis, using a runic, it's not too bad. Of course, he forgets. So I just—it was something personal that came up. <laughs> uh, I got—I got it taken care of. And let's see. I don't think there's any items in here. But welcome back, Leland. All right. I'm sorry about that. Don't think there's a. Oh yeah, you can just search over here in places, but it's not here. No, they were, it was uh, just some personal stuff, so. I think. Something up here. But yeah, I'm back, and I'll probably be on for about... Oh, crap, we lost 500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. But, uh, yeah, I should be on for about four hours. Anything else here we can do? There's no enemies in here, so... Oop, didn't get it. There we go.
So how are you doing today, Lelandar? Yes, one helmet will let us breathe underwater. How it works? We don't want to know. Technically, they're only Sabin's friends, but... <laughs> I love games like this. You just have to suspend your belief. Skyping, huh? That's cool. I'm doing all right. Uh, today's Saturday, so I've had a long weekend because of uh, Thanksgiving holiday here in America, so that's really nice. All right. Let's see, so since these guys are all underwater, we want to use some Bolt 2 action. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> I'll be, I'm not very uh, familiar with German holidays. I guess that's stereotypically American of me, but... <laughs> but, um, yeah, just nice to have a long weekend. Anyway, I guess we want to mash right. again. The good thing is you can take your time. Ho, oh, Gigavolt! Ow! Forgot that the guy used Gigavolt. Oh! Anyway, what's pretty cool in this game, there are actually limit breaks, they're called desperate moves or desperate attacks. But to get them though is actually kind of crappy. You have to be in like near death status and then use an attack, or just like a regular fight command. And then you have to get lucky and hope that it actually works, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, next potion. And all these treasures, oh, uh, you can get them. You have another opportunity to get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the game doesn't ever really tell you about it. I don't know if the manual ever said anything, because I don't have the manual anymore. Yeah, getting a desperate attack in this game is not something that's... Well, you can kind of easily do it. You can kill somebody, use a phoenix down, and then try it that way. But that's not very efficient in the na actual battle. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going to put a... Uh, gal in the front row and see if Cat Scratch will do more damage. I can't remember if it's affected by row damage or not. He'll be okay up there. Can't remember if you can run into enemies here or not. Really hard puzzle right here. And another green beret. Actually, yeah, since we have two of them, let's give one to Gal. Nah, I'm not gonna give one to Cyan. I 
I'm not very kind. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I guess that must be it. And we made it! Hooray! And we made it to the town of Nikea that they talked about. <laughs> anyway, they have some different items we can buy. Nothing that great. think there's any weapon upgrades. Yeah, the Mithril Claw, same thing. Pike, which we stole from Mog in the beginning of the game. Armor Shop. All the same stuff. does have upgraded uh, robes, which is kind of nice. Let's buy one of those. Potions, buy a couple more, since we went through a number of them. Really don't think there's much else here. Chocobo stable, but nothing fun we can do there. Yeah, I'm Lock, rock slide north, can't do anything there. Alright, we're good to go. We are at the end of Sabin's scenario, finally. His is the longest, without a doubt, but... It's probably my uh, favorite of the all of them, though. Alright, let's hop aboard. Gao has no clue who anybody is. Same with Cyan. I mean, you just... Sabin shows up and you kind of trust him. Well, I guess we were fighting the... the Empire with him. Nah, that's, eh, that sounds like a slippery slope a little bit. Then again, I guess it did happen before, so... Hey, Saban's here. It's just kind of odd, because you would think you'd have Locke come in first. Saban had to go through South Figaro as well. <laughs> What's up, Lelandar? Oh man. Um it was weird at first, yeah. If you're at my on my YouTube and you look at some of my first videos, you can tell that I um No, your English is fine. You can tell that 
I, um, that I, I was definitely not comfortable at first. And really, like, speeches and talking didn't really bother me, but doing something different was, you know, it was definitely new. But it's something you get used to really fast. I guess, well, I guess it depends on the person how fast you get used to it, so. So, yes, at first it's weird talking to yourself, but once you get used to it and you know, kind of get, you know, comfortable with it, it's not that bad at all. Just a matter of, you know, practice. I guess it's kind of how, like, actors, you know, I'd imagine, in a way, it's kind of like acting would be similar, you know, they, you know, are just doing it in front of a camera, there's, you know, people there, but, you know, being able to emulate what they need to. So anyway, all our friends m met up finally. The Empire Cometh. <laughs> anyway, so we get a fun little battle up here. Massive task for force they brought. <laughs> you so crazy, Kefka. All right. <laughs> Poor Law or Edgar. Shot down at every turn. <laughs> Weird question to ask somebody out of the blue if you love somebody. Yeah, sell us. was, um, when she was a baby, I guess, power of an esper was infused inside her. We'll learn more about that. Alright, so, let's see. Yeah, this in magic, a mage's hat increases their magic. Hello, Tulane. So, alright, we got some we got some moving around we can do. We can talk to them. How are you doing today? Put on hyper wrist. Ah, uh, yeah, you can have the green beret. You definitely need it. Being in the front row. Anyway, yeah, let's check out Celis. Yep, um, fiance is working, so if she's working, I like to do it then. Um, none of this really matters. Oh, her equipment, though. Give her the mage's hat. Good. Armor is fine. All right, you guys are good. Let's save. For some reason, we morph into Terra. I did see that. I uh, went ahead and accepted the friend request. That doesn't bother me. Nope. Basically, this is going to be another battle like in the beginning of the game where we get three groups. And what I want to do is I want to make one group for killing, um, 
uh, the boss. Let's just make Celis, definitely. Let's give Sabin. And then let's get some Edgar in here for some... Some nice, uh... Oh, AoE action on the way there. And then Terra, you're my solo one. She can handle herself. Get some rockin' music, too. That's what I used to do, but I, uh, I just make one party for... Uh, destroying Kefka, because he's the boss we're gonna fight. And then... Make the rest go by themselves. Alright, so lock. Let's, let's readjust people here. And let's get do it. Let's make sure everybody's looking good. Lock, front row. <clears throat> yeah, poor Terra. She'll be okay, though. I guess I could have brought Gal in place a lock, he would do more damage. Oh well. Maybe. I did not get the Martial Rage, actually. Um, I forgot about that. I did a little bit of Rage Grinding. I got... Um, oh, who did I get? I got the, like, the Ice 2, Fire 2. Let's see if he's vulnerable to a confusion. I got the Blaze from the Bomb. Yes, I got Stray Cat. Oh, he's not, okay. Ow! Yeah, Stray Cat is uh, pretty awesome. I think this is going to... Oh, thanks. Actually kind of helps me. Forgot that guy is actually pretty challenging. Got a remedy. Oh, that's right, I could. Oh well. And we get to fight Kefka for real now. Alright, what we want to do is runic, without a doubt. Ow. Just keep everybody up and we'll be alright. Yeah, Kafka has, uh... <laughs> I guess he does kind of look like a waiter. No, oh, just an ether. Um, some pretty powerful magic. As long as we have Runic going on, we don't... we'll be okay. But definitely, uh... Oops, must have screwed up my input. You can definitely be power uh, hard if you don't have Celis with you. Should finish him. 
Yay, we got him. And the peace ring, which... I don't remember what that does. All right, we got him. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's bring uh, Terra close to it. See what happens. Why not? It's for science. <laughs> you don't say, Edgar. I wonder if that's because she was infused with a uh, Magitek power. Whoa! She pr turns into a really weird pink thing. <laughs> Screams like a banshee out of hell, too. There she goes. <laughs> and we get some sweet Mode 7 graphics on the Super Nintendo. All right. One thing I like about this game is there's no real main character always. Like, you know, it's mainly Terra, but then it kind of shifts later on. But I kind of like that. Yeah, that's pretty much the best way to put it. Every character is the main character except the ones that aren't. That's the best way to describe this game, really. Locke, you've promised every girl you'd protect her. Man, Cyan's really ragging on the former Imperial people. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Fun little thing, actually. If you take only three people, you'll meet up with Shadow again. And you can um, recruit him. But he won't always stick around, which kind of sucks. Let's bring Edgar along. Um, let's see. Celis, just because of the magic. <laughs> I 
I'll bring Gal for some rage, this will try him out. Which which one is that? I can't remember. I'll bring him along. I'll bring Sabin. Oh. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I remember the one with the lock. Oh, that's right. Um, actually, I need to take off their... I need to take off their relics. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying doing that, but... Oops. Alright, Leland RC, hopefully I'll see you in a little bit. Give her We'll give her the peace ring, that's pretty good right now. Sprint shoes, so we have those. Uh let's see. What else to give him? Oh, whoops, did I give a ribbon and peace ring? <laughs> Thanks for catching that. Well, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes I know what I'm doing, I promise. Alright, everybody looks good, let's see. Oh, shield. Put on the silk robe. All right. Now we are good to go, and we can actually explore Narsh finally. Let's see. Ooh, five thousand gold. Yeah, this one's locked for now. Thief knife. Ooh, another pair of earrings. Hyper wrist. And a wall ring. Not some bad st not some bad stuff. Though I do want to give that earring, where are you? Yeah, let's give that to Celis. I think that's everything. We'll open that chest later. So I bought Hotline Miami on Steam today. Um, it was on 50% off. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it's very... Uh, how do I want to say it? It can be very aggravating, but it's also very fun. <laughs> It's only five bucks right now. It's... I don't, know, I don't know best way to put it. I'm, if I uh, get a little bit bored, I might play it in a little bit. Uh, let's see... Okay, we're good. It's basically... Uh, I don't, I don't even know the way to describe it. Uh, no. <laughs> what, what did I name my stream again? Gal's Rage? Now, that was just because I was doing some, uh, rage grinding a little bit, yeah. That's all. 
I usually like to make my title somewhat relevant to where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know that game. Alright, um... Yeah, nothing to worry about here. We'll be back in this guy's room in a long time, actually. Alright, that's good enough. Oh, yeah, the author's forum. Yeah, I know some people are worried about uh, the Game of Thrones one. Um, George R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> yeah, Saban, that's right. Yeah, Saban runs off. <laughs> anyway, having Edgar with us gives us a little bit of a discount. And we can get some new items. A drill and flash. Not too bad. Let's see, I think... There's two places he might have won. I can't remember exactly. Oh, whoops. Didn't get this chest earlier. Thankfully, Sabin didn't have the uh, sprint boots with him. Oh, I don't. That's okay. All right, go to the area with the beds and rest. That's to the right. Oh. <laughs> I was just... Oh, the one on the left. Alright. Wait, I was just in the room. Ah, the, the stream is delayed. Oh, this one. Derp. I forgot. Been a while. I do remember this scene, though. He's disappeared. He's not in his bed. Yeah, it's quite a good game. If you want a game that'll tug at your heartstrings, play uh, the Walking Dead game. The final episode is out on Steam. It was 50% off the other day. It was quite good.
I've played a little bit of them on stream, but not all of it. I should really sit down and do, like, all of them one time. There's five episodes, and they're only about two to three hours each, but really good games, really good. Many tricky bastards with coins in this game. Oh, hey, Edgar. Ten years later, and they're still wearing the same clothes. <laughs> All right, now we can go. Let's do it to cool again. That's his job. He sits and pulls the lever. <laughs> I don't even want to think of the logistics that go into moving this castle underground. But I must admit, a transporting castle is definitely unique. I don't know of any other game that's really done anything like that. I guess Balam Garden and 8. I guess. Anyway, before we go to that town, let's go up north. Red Fang, uh, let's do... Let's do Bomb. Yeah, not too bad. And Flash does... Yeah, non-elemental damage, I think. She learned imp. Or is it elemental damage? Oh, okay. Well, let's do Stray Cat. Ooh, Cat Scratch. Gotta love that. And Drill. There we go. Pretty good single target damage. <laughs> 